Yellow! What's up, ladies and gents, and littler ladies and gents? It's your boy, Vinny! <laughs> I am the host of the Vinny Close-Up Magic Hour. Huh, where's my card? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Bam! Now you see it. Ayo! <laughs> Vinny, you were supposed to tell us when the live stream was on. Oh, yeah. Maya, the live stream is on. Big brothers, am I right? Hey guys, I'm Maya, and that's Vinny, my older brother, and this is the place where me and my friend... That's me! <laughs> we make videos for you guys on our YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm Lando, the best looking one. And we got Lex, my best friend, and Ben, who's behind the camera. Give the audience some love, Ben. They don't need to see me. Oh, don't be shy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben, they saw me, cool, awesome. Get a load of that guy. And on our channel, what's cool is we come to you guys with life's big questions, which leads us to our first this or that question. Is it harder to be nice to someone who talks about you behind your back or to someone who makes fun of you to your face? Now that's some shade right there. If you haven't texted in your answer, there's still time. And we'll go over the results in a sec. Yo, Maya! Don't know if you realize it or not, but the countdown is almost over. Oh, right. Okay, everybody, let's start the show right off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you've got lots of questions and you don't know the answers, come on over, come on. Turn it up. Here we, here we go. No better time than now. Let's gather round, get down. That's how we grow. No matter the topic, it's fun to collab. That's why I got it covered. All the tools you can grab. Us to the we, we all in this together. It's the, the place to make you feel better. to be back for this new season of Kid Stuff. My name is Sarah. And my name is Brandon. Hello. And we are here, like I said, for a brand new season of Kid Stuff. Who is excited about Maya and her friends? Yes. I have another question. Who here brought their family or a friend with them tonight? Anyone? That's that great. is awesome because Kid Stuff is a place it's a show that we experience together that makes your family better. And like mm -hmm. Brandon said, we're all about families yep. here at Kid Stuff. My family is actually here. I've got a picture of them to show you. Ooh. So that's my husband, Ryan, and my daughter, Rowan, and my three boys, Finn, Branham, and Thatcher. That's my family. And my family is also here tonight. Let's see a picture. That's from Christmas, because that's the last time we were all in the same room. Um, there we go. <laughs> That's my daughter Lydia, Daisy, and Nehemiah, and my wife Rachel. Hey guys, I love being here at, at Kid Stuff. I love the mission here, and I'm so, so grateful that you all came here tonight to see me to perform. Thank you so I, much well, for doing I mean, that. I don't, it means a lot. I don't know that they're here just for you. I'm just saying. I mean, some I, of them are. Some of them are here. That, is, that could be true, but yeah. I think we're probably all here. You're a parent, you would agree with this. Yeah. Parenting can be tough, and we're all trying to figure out how to raise great kids, and we believe that Kid Stuff is a place that you get to come and learn some tools for how to make your family great. That's right, it is a, it's a, that's what I said, this is a show starring me that will teach you to raise your kids. There it is, so, guys, you heard it from the source. That's right, hey, so hey, listen, I, I just want you to know, if you have never been to Kid Stuff before, this is going to blow your mind. If you have been to Kid Stuff before, this is going to blow your mind because we have so many new things today. This is an entirely new season. We've got a bunch of new stuff to see. And one of the biggest things we have, you saw at the beginning of the show, is our this or that question. Who here had time to text their vote to Maya and Lando? Anyone? 
That is awesome. Great, great. We, that's a lot of people that texted yeah. their answer. I felt like that was a pretty big deal question for the it's first question. question of the season. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so why don't we check in with Lando and Maya and see if they got the results. Oh, can't wait. And the poll results are in. Drum roll, please. We asked all of you, is it harder to be nice to someone who talks about you behind your back or to someone who makes fun of you to your face? And the people have spoken. <laughs> who texted you? Uh, no one, don't worry about it. And here it is. 86% of you think it is harder to be nice to someone who makes fun of you to your face. Uh, stop. Who keeps texting you? No one, it's my new sister, Riley. Oh. Her mom and my dad got married a few months ago and they just moved in and she's driving me crazy. Come on, she can't be that bad. <gasps> Lando, I lost my toothbrush, so I use yours. I hope you don't mind. Oh, it bad. Come on, guys, Lex is almost here for our team meeting. How do you know? She didn't even call you? Best friend powers. <laughs> Friendship is magic. Kind of spooky. Okay, people, may our Kid Stuff Fan Club YouTube meeting come to order. We need ideas to fill our weekly post. Think big. Oh, I got it. We play Barrel of Monkeys with real-life monkeys from the zoo. Think smaller. Oh, littler monkeys. Hey, hey, guys, 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 hey, hey. Have an old monkey costume I wore for Halloween. Finny, you brought that popcorn with you in the bathroom? Uh, yeah, you want some? No, oh, thanks. thanks. Monkey costume. Love it. And Ben can wear oh, it. Even better. <laughs> Wait, what? And then we put him up to a wall and launch bananas into his mouth. <laughs> oh, fun fact, I'm allergic to bananas. I get close to him and my throat swells up like a blowfish. Perfect for our next video, how to use an EpiPen. I'm writing that down. <laughs> Hello, people. Riley, what are you doing here? You didn't respond to my text, so I thought I'd come find you. Riley, what did I tell you? To not go into your room and invade your privacy. Right. This isn't your room. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's where we shoot our videos. What are you doing? Hey, Stop! We're done with the air horn. We are running out of time. Everyone name off the first idea that comes to your head. Ben. Turtle shell pay makeover. I'll paint it. Maya. A music video in the park. I'll dance it. Lando. A pie to the face, taste test, dummy test. I'll test dummy it. Seriously? I've never been more serious about anything in my entire life. All in favor? Aye. I'll look up the pie recipes. I'll get the whipped cream. You guys pick a couple of players ready to taste some pies, and we'll see you in a sec. Okay. I love your shoes. Thanks. I painted them myself. Uh, Lando, your sister is awesome. You've been holding out on us. Yes, Riley, I'm coming. I don't know about you, but it doesn't look like Lando's too jazz that Riley's joining their group. Yeah, man, I know. I can't stand little sisters. Uh, <laughs> that, that's terrible. Well, uh, no, no, no. In my defense... For all of you. <laughs> in my defense, there are a lot of people that I can't stand. So. That doesn't make it better. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's, it's not the people that I can't stand necessarily. It's, it's the things that people do that I can't uh, okay, stand. Okay, okay. So, like quirks that people like quirks, have. Like, if you call it a quirk when someone replies all to a business email. Now, I will give you Why? that one. That is the worst. Why? Don't be those people. Yeah. Don't, hey, no, I, I got an idea. Why don't we get everyone in on this with a little game? Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. wait. We promised Lex that we would get three contestants to be part of the Name That Pie video. So oh, can you do right. that? Oh, that's right. No, yeah. The winners of my game, I'll, I'll pick three of them to uh, be in the Name That Pie video. Does that sound good? Go. That is awesome. All Way right, go, and everybody stand up on your feet because it's time to play. Can you stand it? Everybody, that's parents too. I know it's a long way up from the ground, but come on up, everyone. All right, folks. I think we all know that sometimes people require a lot of patience. We love people, but they have these little quirks that can get on our nerves and really get under your skin. You know what I'm saying? So for this game, I'm going to act out some of the quirks and we're gonna see if you can stand it. If you can't stand it, then you're gonna sit back down. If you can stand it, stay standing. At the end of the game, whoever's left standing, I'm gonna pick three of you to be in the name that pie video, all right? So there is something on the line. Here is the first one. Tell me, folks, if you can stand it when someone chews with their mouth open, like that. 
If you can't stand hearing the crunchy, slurpy noises in someone's mouth, have a seat. If you can stand it, stay standing. All right, this next one is for the kids, all right? So kids, let's say that you, um, you're at grandma's house and grandma gives you some ice cream for dessert. Yum, yum, yum. But this is the ice cream she gives to your brother. What? Can you stand it? If you've ever gotten upset because someone got more or something wasn't fair, have a seat. But if you can stand it, stay standing. All right. All right, who we got? We still got a lot of people who can stand it. All right, parents. This one's for you parents. Now, um, we love our children, right? We do. But sometimes, on very rare occasions, maybe once or twice a year, they can get on your last nerve. Tell me if you can stand this. Mommy, 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 daddy, 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 mommy, mommy, mommy. I know you're on the phone and that you're making dinner, but can you please look at these balloons that I'm balancing on my head right now immediately, please? Mommy, 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 mommy. Okay. If you can't stand someone saying your name over and over and over again, sit down. If you can stand it, stay standing. Oh, wow, we wiped out a lot of parents that time. Now, I see a lot of you are very patient and tolerant people, or you're cheating. But let's see how you do with this one. Can you stand it when people use words like this? Mucus. Slam. Staycation. How about this one? Guestimate. Irregardless. You're doing good, how about this? Moist. If you can't stand to hear someone say the word moist, have a seat. If you can stand it, stay standing. Great job, guys. Here's the last one, all right? You're not gonna like this one, but listen. If you are in fourth or fifth grade, stay standing. If you're not, have a seat. That is All right, you awesome. are in our Name That Pie video. Good you job. You like the Pied Piper. I got some people. I got right, about 500, here, but only three. Come on up over Thank here. Thank you for coming. Congratulations, keep going. Keep going, and you keep going over this way. So, you guys are the winners and you will get to participate in the live version of our Kid Stuff YouTube video, Name That Pie. So, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen now. Now, in just a second, Riley is going to taste test some pies by putting her face in them. If she gets the flavor correct, you're getting pied in the face. Oh! <laughs> if she gets the flavor incorrect, <laughs> Brandon's getting pied in the face. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. It's happening. And clearly, I can speak for everyone when I say, we're here for it. All right, all right, fine. All right, Come on, so Riley. round one, round two, round three. Let's hit it, Maya. What's up, everybody? Now it's time for Name That Pie! Hey, guys, you need me? Get off camera, we have Riley. Get off. Riley. You're on in three, two, one, action. Anyways, now it's time for Name That Pie. Contestants, please get in position. Good luck, Riley. Thank you. All right, here we go. Ready, set, pie. Hmm. She got it correct, which means, I hate to tell you, but you're getting pied. So audience, we're all gonna yell, 
ready, set, pie. And then you are going to plop your face in this pie. It's gonna be fun, I promise. So here, we'll pull this up a little bit more. All right, here we go. Ready, ready set, set, pie. pie. Ah. Yeah! Ah. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Woo! She was a total team player, guys. No, okay. That was amazing. All right, oh. round two, come on over here. I'm still in this. All Let's right, go. the next right. contestant. Now it's time for pie number two. Thank you. Ready, set, pie! Mmm, uh, pumpkin? Oh! <laughs> All right, she got it right, which means you're getting pied. So, just like last time, audience, we are gonna yell, ready, set, pie, and then you're going for it. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, set pie! pie. Oh! <laughs> that is yeah. awesome. Here they come. So good. Guys, we have some Woo. serious players tonight, oh, and I yeah. love it. I am here for it. Oh, that boy. is amazing. Okay. I'm there's, on a roll. There's only one contestant left. I'm on. You're going down. Okay. Down. <laughs> it's a family show. Maybe less with the trash talking the children. Oh, sorry about that. All right. Number one, pie number three. <laughs> good luck. Ready, set, pie! <laughs> um, uh. Come on, come on. Cherry? Cherry. Actually, we were going for rhubarb, ah. and I don't even know what that is. Uh, All right, that, that uh, means he's getting pied, right? Wrong! She got it wrong, which means you're getting pied, buddy. Right. Should have paid attention in class. Would you like to help? Come on over here. All right, here, you hold the pie. Okay. And here, I'll hold it on this oh, side, oh too. Goodness. Okay, don't worry. I'll assist if you don't, you know, get your face all in it. I'm, I'm here for you. So, here we go, audience. Ready, set, pie. Let's give Brandon and all of our contestants a round of applause. We are so glad that you came to play. Name that pie. <laughs> Favorite fruit on three. One, two, three, asparagus! What? <laughs> well, I'm the pie in the face guy. I am. Man, Riley's driving me insane. The girls seem to like her. That's not even a fruit. I know! You don't like her, right? I don't like anything louder than 10 decibels. I'm probably not the best judge of character. I mean, who says she can just barge in here and hang out with my friends? My dad's the one who's got married. I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, that's a tough one, man. What is happening? Well, she's stealing my thunder. You can have your thunder. I'm fine with being the pie boy. Pie boy! Coming! Oh my goodness, did you see Ben's face when you blew the air horn? <laughs> <He's just so laughs> What is rhubarb? You don't even know. Rhubarb no. tastes disgusting. <laughs> Riley, you are awesome. No, she's not. She's not awesome. You can't just come in here and take over my life, okay? These are my friends. This is my video. These, these are my pies. I'm the funny one, so no. You cannot use my toothbrush. You can't text me all the time. You can't hang out with us. You're not my sister. Yeah, I think we're gonna need a, a little help. Yep, we're on it, Vin. Whoa, I feel really bad for Riley. And I mean, Lando clearly, clearly crossed the line, but what do you do when there's someone in your life that's really, really hard to love? I feel like we need to check in with him. You don't have to say it. I know, I went too far. I feel awful. Things got kind of out of hand, huh? I hurt her feelings. I mean, did you see her face? Ugh, I didn't mean to say she wasn't my sister, but she doesn't feel like my sister. Well, have you ever had a sister? No. Then how would you know? Look, Lando, you've had a lot of big changes in your family, and that's okay to have a lot of big feelings. But you can't take it out on Riley. Yeah. 
Listen, one of the things I love most about you is the way you love others. Really? Yes, you love fierce. When someone's in your circle, you are for them. Yeah, that's just true. But I think you need to expand your circle a little bit. There's a story Jesus told that I think might help. You here for it? Oh, I'm here. Okay, so here is the story that Jesus would tell sometimes. And actually, one of the cool things that Jesus would do when he was telling a story is that he would adapt some of the things depending on what kind of audience that he had. And so tonight, I thought we could adapt this story about a banquet a little bit. Since it's fall, even though it doesn't feel like it, we are smack dab in the middle of college football season. So... I thought that our banquet or our party story could be a football party story. You guys here for that? Go Dogs! Yeah! Hey, hey, I'm gonna eat some popcorn, throw a party and watch the dogs! Who here is a Bulldog fan? You are? Come with me! Come on, you're coming to my party. All right, come on up, come on up. Ooh, ooh. Have a seat, have a seat. Oh, I love it, you got the shirt and everything. Can you say the chant with me, ready? Go dogs, sick them. Yeah, man, I love it. I got you some popcorn. Ooh, Which is party. awesome. You did find somebody that was just like you, and you even found somebody in a Georgia football yeah, t-shirt. Yeah, I did. Which Give me we could have you. even planned Boom. that. That was awesome. Yeah. But I think Jesus wanted us to expand our circle even bigger than that. So oh. is there anybody that maybe isn't just like you out in the audience? Like, who out in the audience studies ballet? Anyone study Anyone? ballet? You study ballet? Can you show me some ballerina moves? Show me some ballerina moves. Go, the stage is yours. I love that, that's one of my favorites. Can you do a twirl? There it is. Come on, you're coming to my party. Come on, on up on stage. You excited? Yeah, just run up on those oh, stairs, that's great. There's some good ballet moves. Yeah, that's awesome. great. I want you to sit right over here. Now I have someone who's just like me and someone who's not like me. I think that's enough people for a party, don't you? I mean, does that look like enough people for a party? No. no. And Jesus party. actually meant you should expand your circle even farther than that. Like, than is there anybody out in the audience who just moved here maybe this month or this summer? Or it's your very first time here at Gwinnett Church? Raise your hand if you are brand new. You, you, you. Did you just move here? Where from? Lawrenceville? I love that. That's where I live. Come on, you're coming to my party. Lawrenceville, that's a long way away. Come on, come on. It would take a while to walk there. I want you to sit all the way over here. Here. All right, welcome new kid. Yes, now we have There's somebody. another chair. There is another chair because oh, I think our circle still needs to be wider than More that. More people? More people. Who am I getting this time? Like, I want to brighten someone's day. So if you had a rough week, maybe you got sick or you didn't do as well on a test as you wanted to or you struck out in your baseball game. You, right Raise there. your hand Come if on. you've had a bad day. Yeah. Come on up. All right. I'm sorry you had a rough week. We're gonna cheer you up. Come up here, we're gonna sit all the way down here. I, I hope you like the dogs. Listen, I'm sorry you had a bad day, but we're gonna have a party and everyone's gonna be rocking after this. Woo! We do love parties. <laughs> I and, love parties. You know, I do love yeah. a good party. Woo! But oh, I, don't, what? I don't think we're done yet. What, do you think we need even more than this? We do. Is there an, oh, here comes another chair, great. Yep, we're not done yet. We need somebody else. And Brandon. What, what, what? I'm gonna be really honest with you. What? This one's gonna hurt a little. Oh no. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath? Let out that breath. Okay. 
because I'm asking you to find an Alabama fan. What? Ask no! Them. No! It's happening. So, if you... Is anybody a Bama e fan? Please. Are you a Bama fan? All right, come on. All right, all right, I got someone. Come on, Bama fan. All right. Thank you for coming to my party. Hey, can you two slide down? Slide down. Slide, you, you slide down, and you slide down. I want you to sit next to me, Bama fan. We can get along. What do the Bama fans say when they want to cheer something? Do they say, go dogs? Roll, <laughs> roll tide, all right. Now, all right, great. You can have some popcorn. this is a party, Brandon. Finally, high we five, got a party. Everybody. Give me a high five. High You're five. too busy eating. Boom, That's boom. awesome. I love this. This is a party. Yeah, because it is. This is what Jesus meant when he said, expand our circle. He wants us to love the people around us, the people that are like us, the people that are different from us. Good, he it? wants us to like the new people and the people that are having a bad day. So when you are at school playing Foursquare, look around. There are kids that would love to be invited. When you're sitting at the lunch table and you see a new kid walk up, you can be the one to invite them. This is what Jesus wants for us, to love other people. Because it says in the Bible, and I just, I love this idea, that our house will be full. When we show love to others, our house will be full of love. That's right. And I would love for you guys to read this with me. It's our verse for the month. Jesus said this, a, a new, new command, command I, I give you, you. Love, love one another, another as, as I have loved, loved you, so you, you must love one, one another. another. Now, everybody knows that it feels good to be included, to mm -hmm. feel like you are a part of something. But what does it feel like when you're not included? Pretty bad, right? Yeah, it feels terrible. So, like right now, these people up here are eating some delicious, salty, buttery popcorn. How does it feel like to be sitting in the audience eating nothing? Yeah, terrible, right? It never feels good to not be included. And in Jesus' house, everybody would get popcorn, which means what? tonight here at Gwinnett Church, everybody's getting popcorn! And more than just Brandon throwing it at you. enjoying your delicious popcorn snack, we would love for you to circle up as a family or with the friends that you came with and talk about this question. Who can you show love to? We want you to talk together about if there's a neighbor that you can show some love to, what would it be? Would it be doing something, an act of service, calling them on the phone, writing them a note? And we want you to come up with some ideas of ways that you can love the people that you are around every day. Maybe somebody new or even an enemy. So eat your popcorn and discuss.
is great. You all have so many good ideas for ways that you as a family or even individually, you get to show love to others. And right now I'm kind of wondering with all these good ideas, if maybe Lando has learned a little something. Why don't we check in with him and see? All right, guys, I get it. I messed this up. What I did to Riley was terrible. And that's not me. I guess I was just freaking out because things were changing. But things are changing for Riley, too. I mean, she's getting a new home, a new school, a new family. That's got to be so, so hard. She just wanted to be included. Well, she needs a circle. And I can do something about that. But isn't that what everybody has to do, right? To include, to love, to forgive? That's what Jesus did for us. So, so let's do it, you guys. Let's make the circle a little bigger. Because my life's a party and everyone's invited. Family, all my friends, yeah, how about that? We, we can have differences, we can be similar, we, we can love, love everybody just like that. Just like yeah, that. love is how the DJs flow, how we love is how everybody knows. Yeah. That God's love helps us to grow, yeah. filters up from head to toe. Head to toe. said that everybody wants to be part of a circle because we do. And we each have the opportunity to invite people to feel included, to feel loved, because we want to love, love, love everybody. The people that are like us, the people that are different from us, we get to make the circle as big as we can. And parents, I know that that's what we wanna teach our kids. We wanna teach them to love others and to show other people that we are for them. Now, I don't know about you, but that's gonna be pretty tricky. So I think we could use a little help from our friends, the Dad Squad. Hey, hey parents, it's the Dad Squad here and we are back. What's that? Oh, uh, that's my watch. It thinks that I'm working out right now. Oh, yeah, 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 you should wave your arm. Mm, like this? Yeah, like that. Oh, you're in the cardio zone, bro. Oh, I've never been in the zone. To the zone. Well, we are the dad squad. I'm Clay. This is Heath. My wife and I have five kids. Uh, Heath, his family, they've got four. And so you would think that that would make us parenting experts, but unfortunately, this is my parenting style. And this is mine. But we're here because we all want to be great parents, right? Well, we can be if we help each other out. So this month, we're learning how to be families who... We want to teach our kids to love everyone the way Jesus loved us. Yeah, and that's not easy for kids. No, what's easy is pointing out what's different. But yeah. loving everyone... Means everyone. Yes, it does. The new kid at school. The old lady down the street with all the cats. The uncle who thinks the dad jokes are funny. The kid who wants to play on your team but is not good. The kid who's shorter than you. Weirder. Smells funny. Man, you're describing me in middle school. Oh, were you the smelly kid in middle school? Until I discovered Axe body spray. Oh, my goodness. Have you noticed that? The tweens have no chill when it comes to the body spray. No, I love it. Hey, loving everyone is not easy, but we gotta raise kids who know that it's important, which is why for dinner this month, we've created Project, Project everyone. everyone. Get ready to put love into practice at your house with Project Everyone. Create this pixel art design using post-it notes and fill it in with the names of the people that you love. Then all month long at dinner, talk as a family about how you're loving the people around you and fill in the heart anytime you reach out to someone new. Let's show everyone that we love 
everyone. Yes, I love it. Parents, let's make Project Everyone our project so that we can show our kids how powerful loving like Jesus loved can be in this world. Yeah, like Will I Am says. Be different. to change your life. Yeah, let's raise kids who want to be different. Be nice. Not just to kids like them, but to everybody. Yeah, love everybody. Yeah. Oh, oh, boom. Whoa. Maybe we should put that on my dog. Oh, that's a great idea. Then maybe I could go get some Froyo and race track later on the night. It's on. All right, thank you, Dad Squad. So every family here is going to get a Project Everyone, and we would love for you to do that as a family and make sure that you are taking a picture with the hashtag Project Everyone. So before we leave tonight, I would love for you to circle up with your family or the friends that you came with, and we are gonna do something we here at Kid Stuff call family prayer. So let's circle up. God, Thank you so much for tonight. Thank you for Gwinnett Church. Thank you for Kid Stuff, that this is a show that families can experience together. And God, I pray more than anything, as we walk out these doors, that we would be people that wanna widen our circles, God, that we want to love everybody. We thank you that you loved us first. In your name I pray, amen. Thank you guys for coming to Kid Stuff. We cannot wait to see you back here next month.